Hi girls, how are you? I hope everybody had a great day. This is another 101 makeup session with Diane. My name is, of course, Diane, and I am a green status elite presenter with Unique Cosmetics and Skincare. I am also a professional makeup artist and skincare professional. I've been doing it for about 36 years now, and today we are just going to learn how to do our contouring. I have no makeup on whatsoever, and I just wanted to do a quick contour lesson for you. So what we're going to do first is, we always prime no matter what. So I'm going to go and use our Glorious Touch Face Primer, we're going to prime our face. Take a little bit of our rose water, spritz it on our face as well. I already did my rose water, but we'll do some more. It smells so good. It acts as a toner. It acts for bee stings, bug bites, sunburn. You name it, that's what it's good for. Okay? Now we're going to take our Glorious Touch Face Primer. It's always important to use a little drop of primer on your face. That prepares your skin. for whatever makeup you're putting on. You leave the primer on your face for about 30 seconds before moving on to the next step. Now, like I said, this is gonna be just a quick tutorial on how to do contour. So, of course we have to go and put our concealer on and our foundation. So I'm just going to go and put a little bit right there, a little right there. I have nothing on my eyes, okay? As a matter of fact, my eyes are probably very much bloodshot. So we're just going to go and add a little bit of this here, a little here, a little there, and a little up there. This is our Skin Perfecting Concealer. It hides tattoos, girls. That's how great it is. And now all I'm going to do is just tap this wherever I need it with my kabuki brush. I'm going to tap it underneath my eyes. Make sure that I brighten them up a little bit. Underneath here, we're just going to tap. And whenever you're using your concealer, ladies, what you want to do is, especially women of age, you want to draw a triangle because you want everything coming up Okay, we have enough things sagging. We don't need anything else sagging. So I just happen to bring everything up and I'm never pulling on my skin. I just go and add the concealer wherever I need it, wherever I may be red, uneven skin toned, and I just pat it in like so. This is one of my favorite parts of makeup artistry. Okay, so now we're going to use our foundation. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use our BB cream. Okay, our BB cream is a tinted moisturizer, but I love it. It's a quick, easy way to give yourself some moisture and also give yourself a little bit of color so we're just going to pat that I am right now I'm using the color what color is this honey and it actually matches my skin tone perfectly this is a BB cream which means it's a tinted moisturizer it's not a foundation it just moisturizes your skin and it adds a tint of color any BB creams that you use, they will never conceal or hide imperfections on your skin because it is not a foundation. Let's keep that in mind, okay? It's just a moisturizer with a little bit of tint to it. There you go. And our BB cream is really, really soft, easy on your skin. Um, we have a bunch of shades. I love using BB cream in the summer because it's very lightweight. You can marry it with our concealer that I just did and it makes all of your face totally skin perfecting, okay? 
No flaws will you see. You marry them together and it is 100% coverage. But remember, you have to use it with our concealer. So just so we don't look totally, totally white as the ghost and like our eyes are like a total mess, we're going to go and start the process of contouring. Now, you can use any brush you want. We have stuff like contouring brushes that are on an angle. They're concaved. They fit right in here where the hollows of your cheeks are. My thing is it's the easiest way. The easiest way to do it is to find the hollow of your cheek. That means finding your bone and then coming down and that's where your hollow of your cheek is. That's where you are going to add your contour. So you can use your contour brush which fits right there. Okay, it fits right there. And it's going to go from the top of your ear, that's where you start to the corner of your eye, straight down in that hollow. And that's where you're going to stop it, right there. Same thing with the other. Find that hollow part of your cheek, top of your ear, to the corner of your eye. And the direction that you're going is the top of your ear to the corner of your lip. All right? Your nose, you're going to go from your brow, and you're going to come straight down. Your brow, straight down. So you have two lines coming down your nose. Underneath your bottom lip, that's going to make your bottom lip come become a little bit fluffier, a little bit more plump. You're going to go up here along your hairline. Now, if you have a very big forehead, what I recommend doing is coming down a little further on your, on your forehead. It will give the illusion that your forehead is not as big or as wide. I don't happen to have a very big forehead, so I don't have to worry. I just do along my hairline. If you have blonde hair, white hair, gray hair, um, red hair, you want to put your hand like this and then contour it down away from your hairline. Otherwise, guess what? You're going to get it in your hair and it's going to turn your hair brown. So we're just going to blend that in. Next thing is over here, we got our jowls, we got our double chin, and we got our jowls. And we're just going to go right along that jawbone line all the way around. Then you're just going to blend it all in and come down like so. Don't forget that right behind your ear, that's still your neck, girl, so you want to contour it all the way down behind your ears, down your neck. Okay, so this way it all looks like it matches. You don't look like Mrs. Patty Cakes. Our top of our forehead's already contoured over here. We're contouring it a little bit darker, so this way you can really see the difference. Okay, under here, you're going to go underneath your nose because you want the underneath your nose go in. We don't want to look like we have a beak, so we just want to do the tip of our nose and underneath. If you happen to have big nostrils, you're going to take your contour and go right around here. I don't happen to have big nostrils, so I really don't have to worry about that part, but... You can find out all this information and watch me every single day on my Facebook channel, on my Facebook page, which is Diane Romanski. And I come on every night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time doing a live every single night for all of my girls. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to start blending this in. Okay? And you're going to do little baby circles. You want to keep this part untouched. So you might want to put your finger right on that line, and the rest of it you're just going to blend in. Little baby circles, and there's your contour. That's it. Put your finger here, little baby circles, and just make sure that it's all blended, and there's your contour there. Alongside of your nose, you're just going to pull down on each side. This is the quick and easy way, okay? Now, at nighttime, I will do my contour, and my contour will be 
a lot darker. It depends whether you want a day look or a nighttime look. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your concealer again, put it on your sponge or on a brush, and you're just gonna tap it and highlight. You want the highlight to be underneath your eyes like a little teardrop, your cupid's bow underneath your chin. Then you're gonna also take a little bit, let me put it a little bit more on my brush, on my sponge, and you're gonna follow these lines right down here under the chin and back up underneath that straight line. The tip of your nose should always be highlighted, your cupid's bow should always be highlighted, and right in here should always be highlighted, okay? It's really very, very easy, ladies very easy. It's just following the steps. Practice makes perfect. Remember that. Practice always makes perfect. And you know what? If you make a mistake, there's nothing wrong with that. It comes right off with soap and water and then just start over. So we're just going to finish with a little bit of our blush. We have many different colors in our unique arsenal of blushes. I'm going to go with the color Sisterly, and you're just going to tap that brush in, tap it out, and you're going to start on the apple of your cheek, and you're just going to start tapping it in and blending it into your contour and around the horn of your eyes. Now you want to blend it in with the contour because you don't want a straight line. You want everything blended. It is super duper important to blend. And it is super important not to go like this with your blush. Anybody that you see that's doing that, they're making the biggest mistake. Because you have your day cream. You have your rose water. You have your concealer. You have your foundation on your face by the time you start adding your contour and your blush. If you start spreading it like this, remember, your face is not set yet. If your face is not set, what's going to happen is when you go like this, you're pulling off all that product that you just put on. So that's why we tap and we blend everything in. Tap away. I have been a professional for 36 years, girl, so let's remember that. Everything makes sense after you hear it, right? Everything makes sense. Now, if you want just a simple look and this is all you want, dip your little brush into your blusher and you can just go and add a little bit of pink to your to your eyelid just to add a little shade, right? You never always have to go out and, out and spend a ton of money on makeup. The blusher acts as an eyeshadow as well. Look at that. I'll also take a little... I'll put it on my lips. Sometimes I use my finger. Just to add a little bit of color, okay? All you need next is a little bit mascara. If you want to do your brows, you're more than welcome to do your brows with a brow pencil or the Brow Obsession Palette. I'm just going to go in here and just straighten them out a little bit. Get my arch created. And come down. Okay, see the difference? And then over here, you do the same thing. I am not a brow hog. I don't like spending time on my brows when I don't have to. During the day, I just color in my brows where I see the sparse areas and maybe bring it down a little bit more over here because my brows have gotten very, very sparse as I've gotten older. Over here, I'll add a little hair coming up so it looks real. I'll add some more hair over here. Fill it all in. And that's my brows. Last but not least, you take your mascara. Whatever mascara of your choice, your regular Epic mascara, or you can use um, the Fiber Lash and just go over your lashes. For a daytime look, sometimes I'll only do one coat like this. That's it. Okay, I never really do my under because it adds a shadow and it will make you appear older, ladies, okay? I'm going to be 54, so i rather have everything up top and nothing under my eyes. 
and finish up with a little bit of whatever color I'm going to use right now. Let me see which one is this. This is the Salt Water Shimmer and it's perfect. It's a clear going over the pink. This is our lip butter. It gives a little teeny bit of sheen and you're done. That's all you have to do. Set your makeup. Bada bing, bada boom. You're all done for your day. It does not always have to be an over the top look. Tap it out. Go over your whole face with it. This is what's setting your makeup. Set it all. Set it and forget it, girls. Remember that. Set it and forget it. And that's a simple, easy peasy look for the daytime. Right? You don't have to use a lot. I hope to see you next time. Please hit the subscribe button. I will see you tonight on my Facebook channel, Diane Romansky. Diane with two N's. And I am also on Instagram. Uh, Enhanced Beauty Therapy by Diane is my Instagram. So thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Namaste.